And we're also tracking the heat wave in California right now. The heat is forcing state officials to extend our flex alert through at least tomorrow. Yeah, they are concerned about the combination of high temperatures and more strain on the power grid. And keep in mind, despite the heat, Sacramento Parks and Recreation officials are preparing for a busy holiday weekend. Yeah, very high temperatures add another hazard to some popular places. ABC 10's Lou Clary tells us how rangers are encouraging people to have fun while staying safe. After Memorial Day and the 4th of July weekend, Labor Day is the third big holiday on Sacramento area rivers and is coming along with some very hot temperatures. Call it instinct. When the temperatures rise, we're drawn to the water. Come here. Come here. Dozer and Danny Osterud came here all the way from Richmond. What brought you out here? The water, we don't have any water down there like this. Each year, Labor Day weekend brings the unofficial end of summer and families by the hundred to the riverside. Refreshing, but not without risks. You know, we don't want to lose any more lives on the river this, this year, and uh, that's our, our main goal. David Spencer with Sacramento County Regional Parks was there as rangers recovered a body from the river just this week. A reminder of the dangers just beneath the surface. Yeah, that's terrible, terrible. People got to be careful, you know. The water's no joke, especially with the current. And Danny would know. A friend's son drowned last year. 21 years old, that's so young. Yeah, he was just a kid, you know. He, he just went out in Lake Riesa, and uh, next thing you know, he's gone. Just, he was just, everything was fine and then gone. For those who are drawn to the river despite the heat, or maybe because of it. We're going to be out here mainly uh, to make sure everybody has a great time and is safe this weekend. Making safety second nature could help prevent a tragedy.